Hey, what's up, everybody? Scott and Gage, Fallout 4. This is a settlement tour of the Mechanist Lair. This you can't get unless you have the Automatron DLC. And at the end of the end of the quest, you opens up this new settlement. The only bad part about this settlement is you can't place any food and you can't place any water. So having people live here is kind of out of the question. But with contraptions coming out, came out, gave us all these nifty builders. So I decided to put them all down here and turn this into kind of a factory. So welcome to Wastelander Industries, everyone. Over here, we've got our heavy weapons forge, and it's kicking out some Gauss rifles for us. It's pretty neat how that happens. Got the robot workbench in here. This little house I kind of built for myself in here, since you can't have anybody here anyway. Love these new posters from Contraptions. They've added to your decorating. You can come back over here. We got the armor forge over here. And it's kicking out some heavy combat armor for me. The generator set up to power everything. Over here, we got the energy weapon forge kicking out some plasma rifles for me. Got everything run off of this one terminal here. Rug glitched it into a desk. Thought it made it look a lot better than just the little stand that it's on. Got all of them running to their own, off their own switch. Now there is a one of the devices you can use, it's a vacuum. Put it right here next to the workbench and it'll automatically pull whatever it needs out of there for you. But I didn't like the way it looked too much. I, I like being able to get to the workbench. So I just add the different materials that I need by manually. I've got this set up. It can pump out plasma rifles or laser rifles. You can do that by going into the terminal. And you select which one you want, energy weapon. And it'll bring up everything that that builder will make for you. Gamma guns, Gatling lasers laser guns, laser muskets, and plasma guns. Select laser gun. Next screen will pull up everything that you'll need, the resources that you'll need to make it. Then you just exit out of it and it'll send a mess and it'll automatically change that to making laser guns for me. See there? Now it's pumping out laser right laser pistols. That's pumped out a lot of Gauss rifles. And shut that off. And over here We've got our ammunitions forge. Right now I got it pumping out 308 rounds. The only thing I wish that it would do that it doesn't do is it doesn't make ammunition for the plasma rifles or the laser rifles. It won't make the plasma rounds or the fusion cells. But it will make the electromagnetic cartridges for the Gauss rifles. 
Then you head up top. This area is open, but I didn't really put anything in here. Not, not really a whole lot of room, too. You can't get rid of any of this computer stuff on the wall. So I just made it kind of... Just looks like a control room. And you head up here. And in this room, I've got my explosives mill and my regular weapons forge. Right now, I've got the explosive mill pumping out some cryogenic grenades for me. I set up some of the new conduits to power it. Makes it look a little nicer than having just regu just wires hanging out all over the place. And this is the weapons forge over here. I don't have it currently making anything, but it can make all of your ballistic weapons, your 10 millimeter pistols, assault rifles, hunting rifles. Head back downstairs. These catwalks are here when you get the settlement. You can scrap them and build your own walkways and things. I just got rid of a few of them to make it look a lot less cluttered. You see there, I got laser pistols and plasma pistols. Shut that off. And up here on the other side. Yeah, I know I'm a little over encumbered right now. I got my builder forge, which builds different decorating things or junk, basically. And a little workbench room over here. And then here I set up the the armor bench. Rug glitched it into this cabinet. I really like the way that looks. Got a chemistry station, armor bench, some of the new contraptions, DLC posters. Really like those. These arrows come with the in the marquee section from the contraptions. So got my own little factory here. And you can play around with the different builders you got to connect them all to a terminal on the same power line to make it all run off of one. Each one will tell you what they build. The builder, forge, it'll make things like steel balls, bowling pins, teddy bears, giddy up buttercup, jangles, the moon monkeys, vault tech lunchbox, pretty good if you build the bottle cap mines I don't use them much but they're good you know junk things the armor forge it can it can build three different kinds it can build the armor the leather armor the metal armor and the combat armor and you can have it light the sturdy or the heavy. The heavy weapons forge. Right now I've got a pumping out Goss rifles. But it can make Fat Man, mini guns, missile launchers. I had it set for mini guns there for a little while. And of course I put in this conveyor storage 
but the miniguns were quite big and they don't want to go in there <laughs> so when i came back here i had miniguns just scattered all over the floor it was quite funny Running the power was a trick, but makes it easy having one generator that's powerful enough to run everything. And I glitched in these walls and the roofs just to kind of give it a little separation. Got some containers up on top just to make it look good. Just another little room back here for sleeping. Haven't done much in here. I just felt this corner needed something. With this ramp that's down, you can't get rid of it. It can't go back up. Really limits this corner, but I wanted something else there. All of these marquees just kind of make it look kind of funky down here. And this is our Wastelander Industries. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, think about hitting that like button. I'd appreciate that very much. And if you got any questions about how anything works, how I was able to get it there, build it, just leave it in a comment and I'll be sure to answer all your questions. And if you would, think, subscribe to us. Got lots more videos coming out, more settlement tours. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.